First apartment. Dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ. With the sweet ride. And the bad secrets. Exit TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Welcome back to the pregame show. Winnemac Warriors head coach Alan Hugler joins us. And coach, you're one and zero, and you know for for everything that's happened around the program and in the school, you you were able to rally the troops and, and get them ready for a tough Twin Lakes team. Let's let's talk about that game. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think some of our players on the floor were able to rally each other more than myself actually. But it was a great win. Uh, the kids, uh, they deserved it. Uh, we played hard. I think we had a really good defensive effort early in the game. We hit shots when we needed to, and uh, a lot of things we still got to work on. We got to get uh, a little more physical on the boards for one thing. So it was a great win. We were fortunate to get it, but uh, hey, we'll take it. You know, the neat thing about that, Alan, and, and I just talked to Rob about this, you had 10 days to fix those things to get ready for your next contest. Yeah, no, we did take some time off for Thanksgiving, but uh, we, we, yeah, we, uh, we've been working on just trying to get better at what we do and uh, still trying to fit some pieces together. We're, we're not real deep. We're trying to develop some depth, uh, get some younger kids in the lineup. And, uh, you know, we've also had some injuries, my, minor injuries that have been uh, healing up a little okay, bit. Good. So uh, hopefully we're close to full force tonight. Alan, how much of Kyle Johnson's system do you still have in place? Well, quite a bit. I mean, I've been an assistant. I've been an eighth grade coach the last four years in Coach Johnson's system, and, and plus I've sat on the bench the you know, last couple of years and done a lot of scouting. So, you know, I have some ideas of things I'd like to do to, to, to uh, you know, go along with what they've done in the past, but short notice, you can't do a whole lot. So right. we just got to tweak some things, and we're still doing that. So it's a work in progress. Okay. Alan, tell me about your kids. Well, we've got, you know, Calvin Larkin, uh, he had 27 points for us our first game out, had a great game, hit a lot of key free throws down the stretch. Um, he, he's a three-year starter for us. And then uh, also at guard, we got Sam Griffith. Uh, Sam Griffith, he, he plays hard, he's a good leader. He's a great team player. Uh, he can shoot the ball, he, he's one of our better defenders. And uh, we look for a lot of things out of him day in, day out. Uh, Wilson Smith. Uh, he plays a forward. He, he's kind of a lanky guy. He's really starting to grow a little bit. And, uh, you know, he won't back down from anybody. He'll play inside. He'll step out on the perimeter. And, and again, our first game, Wilson Smith and uh, Sam Griffith, they took two charges in the first quarter, I thought, defensively, which set the tone for us. Uh, Will Larkin, Willie's a sophomore. Uh, he's going to be a key player. He's a competitor. Uh, does a nice job on the perimeter for us. Um, First game uh, out, Carson Bennett played a great uh, great game. Had seven rebounds for us, or uh, Carson Despot, I'm sorry. Carson Despot, and uh, he's a junior. And Austin Branch should be back in the lineup tonight. He's been battling a football injury, but he's one of our most physical players. And uh, and, and, and then I uh, want to mention, coming off the bench, playing a big role last week, uh, getting four points for us was freshman Tyson Johnson. Yeah. I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard that Tyson is going to be special. Yeah, I think Tyson understands the game and sees the floor maybe as well as anybody in our program right now. And he's starting to grow more physically. Uh, you know, sometimes when you grow eighth grade, freshman year, you know, you're, you have to adjust your shot a little sure. bit. And he's gone through that a little bit like a lot of kids. But I think he's gaining more confidence. Good. And uh, he's a great young man. So we, we do look for good things out of him. Alan, tell me about the Rochester Zebras. Well, they've definitely got some size on us. Most teams do. Uh, you know, I know they won the first game, last second play. Uh, I'm sure they didn't play as well as they think they're capable. And I, I know that they're, you know, a very solid team. They've got some athleticism. 
they got some guys on the perimeter and some guys in the side that can score. They mix up their defense as well. And I think it'll be an interesting matchup for I, us. I think interesting is a good word. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what do you guys have to do tonight to win? Well, I think we've got to rebound better than we did the first game. Okay. We got out rebounded by like 12 rebounds or so in the first game. That can't happen. Um, if it does, then we better be hitting shots and, and you know taking care of the basketball. Uh, I think we have to be able to pressure them at different times at different places. We've got to go mix it up maybe a little more defensively than we did against Twin Lakes. Uh, but we've got to be smart. we got to stay out of foul trouble. Yeah, yeah. Last game we had one guy foul out and five fouls. Uh, if we get in foul trouble early, that can dictate what we do defensively. Sure. So it, it'll be interesting. We want to be able to get out and run a little bit. we got to be we got to be smart enough to know when not to force quick shots. Yeah. Alan, I appreciate your time. Best of luck to you guys tonight. Good luck to you the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Winnemac Warrior Head Coach Alan Hugler back with more of the pregame show after this on 92.1 WROI. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe. Online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Back at Rochester High School, time now for the starting lineups. First for the Winnemac Warriors, they have a record of 1-0. One guard will be a 6-1 junior, Sam Griffith. At the other guard, a 6-1 junior, Calvin Larkin. At one forward, a 5-11 sophomore, Will Larkin. The second forward, a 6-1 junior, Wilson Smith. And the other forward will be a 6-1 junior, Austin Brandt. Winnemac coach by Mr. Alan Hugler. For the Rochester Zebras, they have a record of 1-0. At one guard will be a 6-5 senior, Austin Utter. The second guard, a 5-10 sophomore, Trey Stasiak. And the third guard, a 6-3 senior, Jordan Reinholdt. At one forward, a 6-2 junior, Brady Perez. And the other forward, a 6-3 junior, Tyler Walker. Rochester coached by Mr. Rob Malko. We'll take a break and come back with a tip from Rochester High School after this on 92.1 WROI. Mr. Rick Scott. Back at Rochester High School, well, last uh, Wednesday or Wednesday uh, two weeks ago, we saw the Rochester Zebras um, sport a new uh, road unis that yeah. looked pretty good. The, the home unis look just as nice. Yeah, they are nice. You got the, the basketball zebra from off the wall, I think. They used to be on the wall of gymnasium. Yeah. Got that logo on the side of their shorts. It's kind of neat. Rochester in their home whites, Winnemac in the road maroons. Rochester will go to our left, obviously uh, Winnemac to our right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. It will be Griffith and Brady Perez to jump center. Second game of the year for both teams. Both teams right now one and oh. Tip is up and controlled by the Warriors. Will Larkin high on the left side. Thought about a three, passes it up. Now to Calvin Larkin on the left wing at the volleyball line. Now right side to Griffith. Winnemac without a senior on this basketball team. That's right. Will Larkin holds the basketball. Now dribbles back out to the wing. Now top of the key to Calvin Larkin. Rochester in a 2-3 two, three three, zone. Yep. Three for Calvin Larkin's no good. Tyler Walker flies in, grabs the board. Hands off to Ryan Holt. Jordan right side it. Utter. Austin holds against the man-to-man -man defense. Drives in the paint. Rises up over the defense. Shot is in and out. No good. Walker with the rebound. Oh. Loses the handle on the paint. Ball loose on the floor. Now we're going to have a kick coming against the Zebras. Yeah, Walker's mistake was putting the ball on the floor. Did a good job getting up, timed that just right for the rebound, but he should have just bounced off the floor right. and right back up yep, with it. Yep, I agree. 40 seconds gone, Winnemac with the basketball going to our right. High on the left side is Will Calvin. Uh, make that to Will Larkin. Now to Griffith, near side to Calvin Larkin. Dribbles to the baseline, Ooh. cut off by the defense. Uh, the coaching staff on the Rochester bench asking for a carry. I kind of thought he did too. Larkin, right side to Brandt. Brandt drives the baseline, cut off by the defense. Outside now to Calvin Larkin. Calvin just inside the three-point line on the left wing. Now backs it out behind the arc. Now gives top of the key to Griffith. Griffith across the dribble, left side to Calvin Larkin. Drives the left baseline, cut off with the other team. Skip pass to the corner to Will Larkin. History on the way is good. 
Winamax strikes first, 3-0, with 6.35 to play in the first quarter. Rochester getting caught up in the screens. Left Larkin open on the baseline. Ryan Holt in the paint, baby hooker in the lane, no good, gets his own rebound, put back off the glass is good. 3-2, Winnemac. Kevin Larkin hesitates, goes to the basket, layup off his fingers, no good. Rebound to Jordan Reinhold. He rips and runs to our left. Ahead to Brady Perez, left wing, high on the left side. Now high on the right side to Stasiak. Gives him the corner to Utter. Austin against the man-to-man -man defense. Drives in the paint. Floater on the way. No good. Tyler Walker, another putback bucket. No good. Or putback shot, I should say. No good. And the rebound to Will Larkin. Larkin between the rings. Drives it left to the elbow. Backs it out. Hands off to Griffith. He'll take a quick three. Left wing is no good. Good block out by Austin Utter. Walker grabs the board and outlets to Trey Stasiak. Stasiak right side of the floor. Hesitates. Bounce pass in the corner to Brady Perez. He rises up from 18 feet and it goes. Good looking jump shot from Brady Perez. Didn't see that on Wednesday. No, we did not. Against Culver. 4-3. Rochester up now. Winnemac walks it through the center circle. Calvin Larkin gives to Will Larkin. Now to Griffith. Drives it left. Nice pick. Wow, really? Yep. And that's going to be an illegal screen called against Brand. I thought it was a good hard screen, but they're going to whistle him for an illegal screen, and it's going to go back to Rochester. His first team first. 524 to play first quarter. Rochester up 4-3. It'll be zero basketball as Trey Stasiak runs the point and will yep. jog it across the timeline right. Stasiak getting the start tonight for the Rochester Zebras is uh, looking for somebody else to handle the basketball and give Utter a little help out top. Stasiak loses the handle, then as Winamax getting ready to pick it up, he comes flying in and commits the foul. His first team first. 5-13 to play, first quarter, Rochester by one. Winamax with the basketball going to our right. As Griffith will run the point as he walks it through the center circle, Reinhold will pick him up at the three-point line, top of the key. High on the right side to Will Larkin. Now to Calvin Larkin on the left wing. Inside the arc, has a taste. Now goes to the basket, stops, rises up, foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Now that's a headsy play by a veteran player as he gets around the defense and instead of going right up right away and letting Brady Perez swat it out of the gym, he yeah. stopped, head fake, then rose up and he got fouled on the shot. When you're about 5'10", you learn a lot of those tricks real early. <laughs> so Perez. Calvin Larkin. Perez picks up one team second. Misses his first free throw. Into the game for the first time is Carson Despot, a 6'3 junior, and coming out is Brandt for the Warriors. Just under five to play, first quarter, Rochester up 4-3. Calvin Larkin at the line to shoot one. Uh, one more for the Warriors, looking to tie this one at four. Second one of the way is good this time, and we're tied at four. Trey Stasiak, right side of the floor against Calvin Larkin. Loses the handle in the backcourt. He's going to be an over and back call. Turnover Rochester and Coach Malco going to go to the bench and send in Isaiah Jackson. Jackson comes in, Trey comes out. 4.50 to play in the first quarter, 4-4. Winnemac basketball going to our right here. Will Larkin runs the point high on the right side to Griffith. Griffith now top of the key to Calvin Larkin. Calvin drives it left. Is he getting away with the carry? And then a three on the way for Will Larkin's no good. Rebound to Jordan Reinhold. Jordan rips and runs. Middle of the floor for the Zebras. Jordan between his legs. In the paint. Rises up. Shot is in and out. No good. Walker's put back. No good. Fighting for the rebound. Winnemac comes out of there with it. Calvin Larkin now runs to our right. Larkin right side of the floor. Hesitates. Throws up a three. Right wing is off the back of the rim. No good. And Reinhold rips the board. And now at left to Austin Utter. Now quickly to Jackson. Jackson runs to our left. He loses the handle. Picked up by Winnemac. Will Larkin, right wing, now holds up and waits for his team to beat him down the floor. Now to Calvin Larkin, looks at a three, passes it up on the left baseline, and will dribble top of the key to Will Larkin. Man-to-man -man defense by the Zebras, right side to Griffith. Griffith holds against Reinholt, now to Will Larkin, top of the key between the circles, right side to Despot. Thought about a three, passes it up. Will Larkin will take it three straight away, and it's good. Larkin with his second three-pointer for the Warriors. Win back up now 7-4 to four with 3.40 to play in the first quarter. Right now, Rochester uh, being hurt by their own turnovers. You're right. They've got uh, four here early in this first quarter. And Winnemac knocks the basketball out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester coming into the game for the first time is Zach Graham for the Zebras. And Graham will replace Austin Utter with three and a half to play in the first quarter. Winnemac by three. Rochester basketball out of bounds. Baseline right. Reinhold will look to trigger it in. Jordan Studies looking to get this thing in. Does so to Graham. 
Graham in the paint, kicks it out to Jackson. Jackson backs it out near the center circle to reset for the Zebras. 3.20 to play, and almost has his pocket picked, and Calvin Larkin going to be called for the reach-in foul. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester on the far sideline. First on Larkin, team second. 3.23 to play first quarter, uh, Winnemac up 7-4. Reinhold looks to get it in on the far sideline. Does so to Jackson on the Winnemac side of the 10-second line. Now crosses the timeline right, drives it left at the left elbow. Hands off to Brady Perez behind the arc. Brady Perez with the basketball against Brandt, now to Reinhold. Jordan holds against the man-to-man defense. He works against Griffith. Right wing, crossover dribble at the free throw line. Cut off by the defense. Now to Graham in the, behind the arc. Graham drives it right, loses the handle. And now we're going to have a foul by Isaiah Jackson as Cal Larkin picked up the uh, loose ball. It'll be Winnemac basketball on the far sideline with three minutes to play in the first quarter. That's the third, or first on Jackson, team third. How many turnovers? Five. Yeah, that's not good. Brandt behind the arc, right side, quickly left side to Calvin Larkin. Calvin with the basketball, being very patient. Top of the key now to Will Larkin between the rings and the volleyball line against Isaiah Jackson. Rochester in a man-to-man defense, 2.45 to play in the first quarter. Zebras up by, uh, make that Winnemac up by three. Griffith out to Will Larkin, his three no good. Brady Perez rises up, grabs the board, outlets to Jordan Reinhold. Reinhold left side of the floor, hesitates, goes to the basket, throws up a shot. Before the shot, we're going to have a foul on the floor by the Warriors. It'll be out of bounds for the Zebras. It's about the third time we've seen Jordan take that ball right down the middle of the lane and uh, get within about three feet of the basket for a good look at the shot. Yeah. He keeps doing that the rest of this game. He's going to find himself on the free throw line before this is over. Ryan Holt, baseline right, looks to get it in over the top of the defense to Graham. Quickly to Braden Perez, 10 feet behind the arc on the right wing. One dribble down to Jackson, top of the key. Austin Utter will check back into the next dead, dead ball. Ryan Holt thought about a three, passed it up. One dribble now to Graham, top of the key. Graham back to the right side to Brady Perez. Brady with the basketball. Zebra's showing pretty good patience here offensively. Cross court to Graham. Graham at the right elbow. Throws up a shot off the glass. It's no good, and the rebound is going to be knocked out of bounds by the Zebras. That'll go back to Culver. Alex Onafield will make his first appearance into the game as well. Brady Perez and Tyler Walker to come out with 2.05 to play in the first quarter. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Winnemac by three. And the Warriors of the basketball going to our right as Calvin Larkin will run the point. Larkin through the center circle. Rochester to man-to-man defense. Drifts to his left as Larkin. Now top of the key to Will Larkin. Works against Isaiah Jackson. A couple of dribbles between his legs. Backs it out behind the three-point, uh, the volleyball line. And w- still dribbles behind the arc. Despot will take a three straight away. It's no good. Short. And the rebound to Utter. Utter gives to Jackson now. Rochester runs down by three. 100 seconds to play in the first quarter. Cross court to Utter. Right wing. Thought about a three, fakes the three, looks back door to Reinhold. Good defense by Griffith. Jordan is going to be called for, nope, nope, He's nope, gonna be nope. Fouled, yeah. We're going to be uh, a foul coming against the uh, Winnemac Warriors. Well, maybe that's they're going to whistle Jordan for a travel. That's on Griffin. And coming into the game for the first time for the Warriors is Wilson Smith. Reinhold to get it in, does so to Utter. 90 seconds to play, first quarter, uh, Winnemac by three. Austin holds against the man-to-man defense. Works against Wilk Larkin, and then the pass is stolen by Calvin Larkin. He loses the ball, picked up by Jackson. Jackson the other way, middle of the floor. He loses the ball, but Graham has it and travels. It's good to see Luke Smith on the bench. Yeah, it is. Trey Stasiak will come back into the game, and Jack Graham will come out. A minute 10 to play in the uh, first quarter. Winnemac by three. They've got the basketball as Calvin Larkin walks it up the floor. We're down to a minute two to play in the first quarter. Calvin Larkin bounce pass left side to Despot. Despot, right wing pass to Smith. I'm a little confused because the last foul on Winnemac was on, they said was on Brant. He's not even on the floor. I don't think anybody caught that. Really? He's not on the floor. And yet they called him for his second foul. Huh. Jackson to Utter, back to Jackson with 40. Right wing to Stasiak with 37. Bounce pass top of the key to Reinhold with 50. Uh, make that to 35. Jordan's floater in the lane goes down. That's a good looking shot for the senior. And the Winnemac lead down to one with 25 seconds to play in the first quarter. Calvin Larkin, a rocket across the timeline, sets up shop right in front of the Rochester coaches with, 50, uh, with 18. 
Larkin looks back at Coach Hoogler, has the play with 13. Still dribbling near the timeline with 11. Now we'll start things towards the basket with eight. Calvin Larkin with the basketball with seven. Backs it out of the timeline with four. Now drives around Reinhold with three. Rises up with two, it's good, and that's gonna do it for the first quarter. After one, Winnemac leads 9-6. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Winnemac owns a 9-6 lead uh, thanks to a few turnovers by the Zebras. Yeah, they've got seven turnovers in that first quarter. Also some pretty good shooting by the Larkin Twins. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, you're not kidding, but we knew coming in, if we couldn't contain Will and Calvin, it might be a long night for the Zs. All right, they've got all nine points for uh, the Winnemac Warriors right now. So Rochester starts the second quarter of the basketball. Bryce Abbott in the game for the first time for the Zebras. Brady Perez on a field, Reinhold and Utter. Death spot, both Larkins. Utter's floater off the back of the glass. The put back by on a field is no good, but a foul coming on the Zebras. Alex Onafield will go to the line to shoot two. On the floor to start the second quarter for the uh, Warriors. Two, Both Larkins, Griffith, Griffith Smith, and Despot. That's Griffith's second foul. So now Griffith and Brandt with two personals. Well, I don't think uh, Brandt, I only have him with one. Hmm. Onafield with two. First one on the way is short. He'll have one more. Alex Onafield, a 6'6 junior for the Zebras. We'll have one more freebie. And Tyson Johnson, the six-foot freshman, entered his game for the first time tonight. Uh, this young man's going to be special. Second for Anna Field is no good again, but we're going to have a lane violation on death spot, and that's going to send Anna Field back to the line to shoot one more. 9-6 Winnemac. On a field with one more. The junior sets himself, fires a second one, and this one is good. Winamax lead is two. Calvin Johnson, nope. Calvin Larkin runs. Right corner to Johnson. Tyson Johnson back to Calvin Larkin. Swins, sends cross court to Will Larkin. Back to Calvin. Back to Will Larkin. High on the left side. Rochester in a 2-3 zone now defensively. Calvin Larkin splits the top two, and now we're going to have a travel against the Warriors. So Coach Hugler will take a timeout. It will be a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Back at Rochester High School, 30 seconds gone in the second quarter. Winamax up 9-7. to seven. Coming up at halftime here on WROI, a Rochester assistant swim coach Kevin Reaney will join us to talk about their season to date. Uh, they've had some pretty good performances, girls, uh, in girls swimming this year, um, and I'm excited to talk to him about that. There's going to be a bunch of records fall this year, I have a feeling. Wow. So after the Winnemac timeout, Rochester will have it. Reinhold gives back to Utter between the rings. Now Winnemac will work in a 2-3 zone. Utter drives to the left side. High on the right side of Reinhold, back to Utter left wing. Utter drives to the left baseline. Cut off by the good defense. Still on the left baseline. Right wing pass to Reinhold. Three in the way for the seniors. Good! Rochester up now by one at 10-9. Rochester, or Reinhold with seven of those nine. Despot with a pass at the free throw line. Kicks it outside to Smith. Now right wing to Calvin Larkin. Rochester stays in that 2-3 zone. High on the left side to Will Larkin. Will Larkin a couple of dribbles to his right. Now then between the rings to Johnson on the left side. Back to Will Larkin. Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Calvin Larkin has the pass on the right wing. Chest pass back to Will Larkin, left side to Johnson. Thought about a three drives, and we're going to have a foul on the drive by Bryce Abbott. 
It'll be uh, Winnemac basketball out of bounds with 6.39 to play in the first half. Abbott picks up his first team fourth. 10-9 Rochester. Brant back into the game for the Warriors. And Smith to uh, come out for the uh, Winnemac Warriors. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Despot baseline left will trigger it in. Calvin Larkin, wide open three. Yepper. That's wide his, open three. That's his first three of the night. Winnemac back up now, 12 10. Utter walks it through the center circle. Winnemac back in a man to man defense. Utter works against Will Larkin. Now left side to Reinhold. Reinhold, one dribble high on the right side to Utter. Austin holds at his belly. Drives it left at the free throw line. Out to Reinhold. Jordan on the switching uh, man to man defense. Now working against Will. Larkin, and now before the shot, Austin Utter is going to be called for a travel. Little stutter what? step when he caught the ball. Yep. yep. How many times have we seen that all this year that isn't called? In fact, we're almost getting to the NBA rules. Just take as many as you want. We're not going to call it. <laughs> right. 12-10. Winnemac up. Warriors with the basketball. Calvin Larkin looked at the three, passed it up. Now to Will Larkin. He drives it to the right elbow, loses it into the hands of Utter. Now to Reinhold. Reinhold, left-handed layup on the way is good, and we're tied at 12. I think he thought about passing that to Brady Perez, but Winnemag defender too close. Calvin Larkin, right wing to Will Larkin, back to Brant at the free throw line. Brant loses the handle, ball loose, picked up by Reinhold. Jordan, left-handed layup is good again. 14-12 Rochester, they're on a 4-0 run here with 5.20 to play in the first half. 11 now by Reinhold. 11 points? Yes. Good for him. He's got seven in this quarter. Will Larkin. Like seven in the last three possessions, I guess, for yeah. Rochester. Johnson, baseline to Brandt. Brandt, nice smothering defense by the Zebra 2-3 zone. Calvin Larkin to Tyson. Uh, Johnson, back to Calvin Larkin. He drifts to his right side. Nice dribbling <laughs> by the junior. He didn't go anywhere, but. <laughs> yeah. A lot of good dribbling. Tyson Johnson, left side to Brandt. Baseline to Will Larkin. His shot off the side of the backboard. I believe it's partially blocked by Onafield. Alex grabs the board and gives to Utter. Utter quickly in the corner to Reinhold. Three left baseline, short. Gets his own rebound. Kicks it back outside to Utter. Utter in the paint. Rises up. Foul on the shot. Oh, we're going to have a foul against oh, Utter. Good job by Brandt for setting up for the charge. And Utter come down right on top of him. 14-12 Rochester. Four and a half to play first half. Winnemac basketball going to our right. Again, Rochester assistant swim coach Kevin Reaney coming up at halftime to talk about swimming. Well, Will and Calvin Larkin are the only two that have scored for Winnemac. It's going to make <laughs> Rochester's defense a little easier to scheme up here at halftime. You would think. Brant baseline against the double team. Jump pass outside to Calvin Ooh. Larkin. His jumper from the elbow is no good. Offensive rebound to Despot. He puts it back out. Blocked by Outerfield. Ball loose. And Winnemac comes out of there with it. Calvin Larkin with the basketball against Utter. Since top of the key to Johnson, left side to Will Larkin. Will, 10 feet behind the three-point line. Goes right, outside to Calvin Larkin in the center circle. Under four to play in the first half. Winnemac down by two. Johnson, right side to Calvin Larkin. Calvin holds, now top of the key to Will Larkin. Rochester falls back in at 2-3 zone. Johnson high on the left side. Will Johnson holds now to Calvin Johnson high on the right side, right in front of the Rochester coaching staff to Will Larkin. Fakes right, goes left. Johnson drives the baseline, cut off by the defense. Outside to Will Larkin. 3.20 to play, third, uh, first half. Rochester by two. Brant now with the basketball to Will Larkin now. Backside to Tyson. Johnson, 2-3 zone by the Zebras. Will Larkin. Thought about a corner pass to Calvin. Backs out, resets for the Warriors. Calvin Johnson runs the baseline. Leaner on the way is no good. On a field, another rebound. Gives to Utter. Under three to play in the first half to Reinhold. Jordan, nice dribbling in the paint. Spinner on the way. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Despot going to pick up the foul. It's team six. I do that. I tear both knees out, or blow both knees out. <laughs> Fell on my face, break a tooth out. And Jordan right. kept his composure and just about had an opportunity to for a three-point play there. 
But he'll go to the line to shoot two. He's had a fantastic first half. Yeah, he's got 11 points total. He's got seven in this quarter. Jordan's free throw is good. Winnemac will take a timeout. It is a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Cheap furniture. Nice game system. New job. Steady girlfriend. Wedding. Dog that serves as a practice child. Little kid. Little kids. Oh. Big kids. Big changes. <laughs> so, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Time out. Jordan Reinhold will have one more freebie. He's got 12 this, this half. Yes, he does. 12 of the 15. Eight, eight in this quarter, yeah. Very nice. Eight of the nine in this quarter. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. And 12 of the 15 for the game. Yep. McConaughey is leading North Miami and boys at the end of one, 18 to three. McConaughey leads North Miami 18 to three after one. Yes. Jordan Reinhold with one more. Thanks, Val. Looking to push this lead to four. Senior eyes it, flies it, buys it. Isaiah Jackson back into the game, and Jordan Reinhold will sit down. Have a half, young man. 2.50 to play in the first half. Rochester by four, Warriors of the basketball. Calvin Larkin to Will Larkin. Back to Calvin Larkin. Rochester in a 2-3 zone. High on the left side to Johnson down the corner to Griffith. Griffith in the corner to Will Larkin. Back to Griffith. Three ball left wing is short. Anybody want to get a rebound? Nope. We're going to stand around and watch. Now Will Larkin. Reverse layup on the glass. No good. Tyler Walker with the board. Now to Utter. Utter gives to Jackson. 2.20 to play in the first half. Jackson left wing. Now to Brady Perez. Feeds down low to Abbott. And we're going to have a foul coming on Brandt. That'll be three, three. on Brandt. Yeah. And Abbott, I believe, will go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. And that's going to bring Despot back into the game for the Warriors, and Brandt will come out. I think I'd kind of like to see Austin Brandt, a 6'1 junior, in pads. <laughs> he probably looks really intimidating at a linebacker spot. Yeah, I would guess so. Bryce Abbott at the line for one and the bonus for the Zebras. First one for the sophomore is good. One more coming for Abbott. 2.15 to play in the first half. Zebra's biggest lead of the night of five. Second one on the way is good again. Rochester at LaVille tomorrow night. You know LaVille and the Edisons, they're always good. We'll be here with the girls as they have Southwood. Calvin Larkin the left side against uh, Abbott. Man-to-man -man defense now for the Zebras, I think. Might be 2-3. It is still 2-3. Yeah, still 2-3, two, two, three, three, yeah. One fifty to play in the first half. Rochester up by 6 at 18-12. Griffith, no look pass to Calvin Larkin. Now to Will Larkin. Three left wing is no good. Gets his own rebound and fouled before the shot. It'll be out of bounds to the Warriors. So Isaiah Jackson going to pick up his second, team six. Reinhold will come back in, and Jackson will sit. 144 to play in the first half. Rochester up 18-12. Winnemac baseline right. Despot will look to trigger it in. Despot still looking and gets it in at the Rochester volleyball line to Will Larkin. Larkin will cross the timeline. High on the right side to Calvin Larkin. Back to Will Larkin. Th thought about a three, passes it up. Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Right side to Calvin Larkin. He backs it out to the near scores table. Now it will be in the center circle. Works to the left wing now. Outside to Griffith. Griffith gets a pick. Works to the right elbow. Top of the key to Will Larkin. Now to Calvin Larkin. He drives it left. Cut off by Tyson Walker before, or Tyler Walker before the shot. We're going to have a foul 
And Calvin Larkin will go to the line to shoot one and the bonus. Walker picks up his first, team seventh. Fouls on number 40, Walker, his first, team seventh. At the line, shooting one of the bonus for Winnipeg, number five, Calvin Larkin. Larkin's got six, one of two from the line. Larkin's first one, no good. Walker into the board. Outlet to Jordan Reinhold with a minute 10 to play in the first half. Utter now right wing. Utter against Winnemac's man-to-man defense. Gives to Freddy Perez. Now to Abbott. Over the top to Reinhold. Jordan left baseline to Utter. Quick 15. Footer's good. Utter's first points of the game. 20 to 12. Rochester by eight. Calvin Larkin against the 2-3 zone. Backs it out to the volleyball line. Right side of the floor. Now to Johnson. Back to Larkin. In the 2-3 zone, Rochester's done a pretty good job of taking those three-point shots away from the Larkin Twins, and that's where Winnemac has struggled to score here yeah. in the last four minutes. Griffith, Calvin Larkin, long three is short, and the rebound to Abbott. Bryce ahead to Reinhold with 28. Jordan now with the basketball at 25. Around the defense, top of the key with 22. Rochester by eight as the first half comes to a close. Utter now high on the left side near the Winnemac bench with 15. Drives it right with 14. Gives to Perez with 12. Brady Perez, one dribble with 10. Holds above his head. Now to Reinhold oh. with seven. Yeah, almost stolen. Now with six with five. Jordan with it with three. Jordan, now we're going to have yep. an illegal screen on Bryce Abbott with three seconds to play in the first half. Winnemac going to have a final shot. Abbott picks up his second. On three. Abbott, his second. three seconds to play first half. Rochester by eight. Calvin Larkin with the basketball. Two, one. Jumper at the free throw line at the buzzer is no good. At halftime, the Zebras lead 20 to 12. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. After high school, we're at recess. The Zebras lead by eight right now at 20 to 12. Uh, Rochester assistant swim coach Kevin Reaney joins us here. And Kevin, you guys are uh, a few matches in or a few matches? Meets. Meets, yes. Meets. A few meets in. Uh, and I know that you and I have talked a little bit after the first couple of meets, at least for the girls, and you're expecting some good things out of both guys and girls this year. Yeah, we have a really good um, group of, of boys and girls this year. It's... Uh, we got about 30 total swimmers and uh, five, six divers, total boys and girls, and, and it's a really great, great group to work with so far. They they have been uh, impressive in the water and in the weight room, and it's been a lot of fun to be around them. Let's talk about the kids. Well, uh, let's we can talk about the girls first. Okay. The um, you, you know you start with your senior leaders. You've got you know Sarah Schaller. And uh, Maria Hunting, Abby McCarter, and Maddie Sailors, and you know that they, they've been around. They've they've been what the program's been about for their you know starting their fourth year, and you know they lead by example. All four of them show up every day, do what they're supposed to do, and and really give 100% effort, and are, are very very good at encouraging the underclassmen, and um, you know that. You don't have to, you can't coach that and you can't teach yeah, that, right but that's on. important to grow a program. And, you know, our junior class isn't, isn't great in size. Um, you know, Adrian Shepard and um, Sarah Rohr is a new swimmer for us, and um, she's, she's finding out that, you know, running is great and swimming is hard too, but <laughs> she's a lot of fun to be around because she knows how, what it's like to work. And Adrian is uh, just doing a great job and just, you know, uh, doing whatever we ask. She's kind of a multi multi-task swimmer she can she can do about everything for us and um you know we've we've got uh some sophomores you got uh, evie goodman and Paige bodie and mallory hyatt and you know they the girls just 
you know, they, they're in all other sports. They know what it's like. They got a good taste of the sectional last year, and it's super exciting. And um, we got some, you know, some freshman girls. Um, well, we got two new girls from uh, Lewis Cass, the Weaver girls, Jaylen and Kenzie, and they're doing, you know, they're just, they're figuring out this is Rochester swimming, and it's, it's rough. That's why we swim well at the sectional. But the freshman girls, Ellie Shank and Gracie Andrews and Riley Rao, they, it, it's and uh, Lizzie Swango, it, it's pretty great. There's a lot of big smiles, kind of not nervous smiles, but they're they're figuring it out, and it's it's a lot. We've Good. had six practices this week, and um, with mornings and everything, and we're going to go to Warsaw tomorrow and really really get after it. So uh, we're we're super happy. To, this, it all starts with your seniors and and what they do, and um, you know they they all they all know what the program's about. Talk about the buy, the guys. Well, the, the the boys team. We've got about 12 swimmers. We got Cameron, um, Cameron Gunter is our lone boy diver, and he's um, he's got his dives in, so he's going to be able to fill a spot for us. Um, and on the girls' side, real quick. Um, Wait a minute. What does what does that mean? He has his dives. Well, in. they have to have a they have to do a, a set of required dives. You know, with the uh, with a, from a twist and an inward and a reverse and a front and a back and. Um, they have to be able to com at least have a dive in all those categories to be able to you know to qualify. Okay. So, okay. so Cameron's got his in, and, and that's just points for us. That's a that's an event that counts the same as any other event, and and he can do that and, and fill that spot. And we've got um, Gabby Mayer and Megan Thomas and uh, Elena Deshawn and uh, Ashlyn Foster on the girls' side that are doing that for us too. And and uh, Coach Lisa Andrews is doing a super job with them and bringing them along, but. On the boys' side, the, the three senior boys we got are Jeff Rupert and Mason Copeland and Mason Brady, and you know they've experienced a lot of success, and um, they're they're leaders. Um, none of none of them are necessarily vocal leaders, like just like the girls. It's mostly by example, and it's just like, hey, this is how we do stuff, and uh, I I couldn't be happier with with that with that group and the sophomores, uh, Adam Brown and uh, Will Tone are. Uh, you know, Will's. Uh, you know, he's in the soccer program, and yeah. he's he's going to be a sprint guy because he's going to swim about five months of the uh, four months of the season a year, basically. And we're going to try and get him to go as fast as possible. And and you know, we're not counting on him for distance because we got that covered. The other junior in that group is Isaac Smith, and uh, Isaac is one of our three what we call just our distance boys. And uh, we're we're really excited about these three distance boys um, with Mason Copeland, but. Uh, the sophomores, yeah, Mason Beal, uh, sorry, junior, also is Quentin Sager. He's, uh, uh, we're looking for some good things out of him in the sprints, too. And the uh, sophomores, Mason Beal, and, um, and and I'm thinking he might be about the only sophomore we've got. And and he's, he's we're looking for real good things with him. He has some very lofty goals uh, where he's thinking he might be able to put his name on a record board sooner than good. later. But... Uh, you know, Eli Pugh put those up a couple of years ago, and and that's a big deal. So uh, Mason's got some stuff to chase, but the uh, freshman boys are uh, Ethan Brady and um, uh, Calvin Sager is the new swimmer for us, and uh, Anthony uh, Peterson, and and they're just working so hard and just trying to figure it out. And Reese Rini, and and he's you know trying to figure it out too. That's what the freshman's all about, and and it's mainly just watching those seniors and upperclassmen and seeing what it takes and. They get in the weight room, and Dr. Feldman, uh, Coach Feldman is, is um, I don't want to call him a taskmaster because that's not what it's about. He's a, he's a master motivator, and the kids are super strong in their core, and um, they're doing stuff that uh, very few schools around the state are doing as far as their dry land and weight room training goes. i got to tell you, I'm, I'm impressed. You, ri you rattled off all those names and not one of them in front of you. Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a super great memory. No, no. Normally, it's just numbers that I can I like to remember, which is times and distances and things like that. But you know, you see these kids all the time. I mean, you know, we saw them twice on we seen them twice on Wednesday, once on Thursday and this morning. And you, you know, if we weren't going to Warsaw tomorrow for an invitational, we'd see them at yeah. eight o'clock in the morning yeah. tomorrow. So they, everybody, it's a huge buy-in process and and program, and it's um it's a lot of fun. We have had. Um, Tre tremendous effort, and uh, I'm just happy and tickled to be a part of it. And Coach Brown let me be there, and Coach Sanchez, and um, it, it's just a lot of fun. It's a big, big, huge team effort. 
Well, Kevin, I appreciate your time here at halftime. Best of luck to you guys uh, this year, and I'm sure we'll talk to you and Coach Brown periodically throughout the rest of the basketball season. Well, whenever you need us, let Coach Brown know, and oh, she, yeah. she, she puts us on the mic. So she's, I know if she's I have, if I, know driver. If, I, if I need two minutes to fill, I'll just give you a call. <laughs> Thank you. All right, bud. Rochester assistant swim coach Kevin Reaney here at the break. We're going to give Brad the mic back and give him first, ha uh, first half numbers. Yeah, for Winnemac. Pretty easy. Calvin Larkin, six. Will Larkin, six. They were one of three from the free throw line. Only committed three turnovers, though, but the uh, Warriors only shot 21% in that first half and went the last six and a half minutes without a field goal. For Rochester, Utter has two. Perez with two. Abbott with two. Onafield with one. And Jordan Reinhold leading everybody right now a half with 13 points including uh, uh, nine in that second quarter. The ladies, or the uh, Zebras, five of six from the free throw line. They shot 58% in the first half and uh, committed eight turnovers. So that's Rochester's 2-3 uh, two, three defense, two, three zone defense there. Extended a little bit to take a three-point shot away from the Larkin Twins and Pretty well shut down Winamax offense for the last six and a half minutes of that first half. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a really good half for our defense, I thought, like you said, yeah. and a really good half for Jordan Reinhold. Yeah, well, he was the recipient of some pretty good defense down low by Rochester. They got the turnover and threw out to Jordan, who's playing on top of that 2-3 zone, and he broke as soon as he saw that we had the ball, and he was, uh, you know, able to get the long pass for the, for the layup, although I'd say one of them was not an easy one because – like you said, it would have broke our ankles if we tried to duplicate it. <laughs> so Winnemac will start the second half with the basketball going to our left. Bryce Abbott comes out of the locker room and will start the second half. As will Calvin Larkin, his no-look pass down to Brand. He puts it in for two. Somebody and other than the Larkin twins gets yeah. on the board. Utter. Reinhold. Jordan in the paint. Step back at the free throw line. Now to Utter behind the arc. Feeds down low to Bryce Abbott. Back to Utter on the baseline. Abbott goes to the basket. Hart throws him a shot. No good. Gets a rebound back. Puts it up. No good. And the Warriors with the board. High on the left side to Calvin Larkin. In the paint to Brandt. Back to Larkin. Drives to the left baseline. Has pass is taken away. He puts it up. Uh, he gets the ball back. Puts it up for two. Or I'm sorry. Walker's he puts it up and yeah. gets fouled. And I think Walker's going to pick up his second foul. He does. Rochester also out-rebounded Winnemac in that first half, 18-6. to six. Really? Yeah. These Larkin boys have their first step is so fast. They are quick. First one for Calvin is good. And Rochester will take a timeout. It's a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Playing the first half, Rochester has a five-point lead. Calvin uh, Larkin at the line to shoot one more freebie for the Warriors. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Calvin's the only one to shoot free throws for Winnemac tonight. Second one is good again. Winnemac in a full court press. First time we've seen that tonight. Brady Perez over the top and throws it into the hands of the Warriors. Brandt with the basketball. He threw Brandt. it back to the center of the floor, but there wasn't anybody there. Yeah. Griffith then is going to be called for a carry, and it's going to go back to the Zebras. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow, the Rochester Lady Zebras back in action and in conference action as they host the Southwood Lady Knights. That's a 6-15 JV yeah. tip. Lady Zebra's looking to go 3-0 and to start the conference. Ryan Holt gets it into the corner to Utter. I guess a double team. Austin over the top to Bryce Abbott. Bryce brings it up the floor. Cross court pass to Perez. Hands off to Ryan Holt. Jordan back to Perez. Top of the key to Utter. Thank you. 
Right wing pass to Jordan Reinholt. Back to Utter. Top of the key against Winamax man-to-man defense. Utter drives it left. Rises up from 10 feet. Throws up a shot. Partially blocked. Gets his own rebound. And he bangs it off the uh, foot of Brandt. And it goes out of bounds. Rochester will keep possession baseline right as Alex Onafield comes back into the game. Tyler Walker to sit. Reinhold baseline right will look to get it in. And his pass is taken away, but I think Ooh. we're going to have a foul on Will Larkin as that pass was intended for Austin Utter. Well, Larkin will pick up his first, team first. Team first in the half. Jackson. Jackson back into the game and coming out is Abbott. Baseline right is Reinhold. Jordan, bounce pass into wide open. Utter, he rises up in the paint and puts it in. Utter now with four. Rochester up 22 to 16. Calvin Larkin to Will Larkin. Will Larkin behind his back, dribble behind the arc now in the center circle. Works high on the right side to Calvin Larkin against Rochester's 2-3 zone. Crossover Gribble, loses the handle. Nice pick by Reinhold. And now Jackson has it in the paint. Isaiah rises up, high shot off the glass, no good. Rebound being tipped around, and Winnemack comes out of there with it, and Jackson's going to be called for the reach-in. That'll be number three on yep. Isaiah Jackson. 6.15 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up by six. So McConaughey has opened up a bigger lead against North Miami. Bigger. 35-11 to 11 after one. After one. After one. What score did you give me first? It must have been halfway through the first. Because <laughs> now, if the, if that's what it says now. After one, 35 to 11. Two minutes gone to the third. Rochester up by six. Calvin Larkin against the Rochester 2-3 zone to Will Larkin in the left wing. Will the basketball back to Calvin between the circles of the volleyball line. Drives it left to the left elbow extended. Now backs it out behind the three-point line. Now right side to Griffith. Griffith paint, drives. His floater in the lane is no good. Gets his own rebound. Actually, Smith got the rebound. And before the putback, he was fouled. Nope, on the putback, he was fouled. He'll go to the lane to shoot two. Fouls on Utter, his second. 5.41 to play in the third quarter. Fouls on Utter. Uh, uh, Smith will go to the line for the Warriors to shoot two. Team third. Wilson Smith, a 6-1 junior, fires the first one. No good. One more coming for Smith. Second one is on the way and good this time. Full court press now by the Warriors. Reinholt with it. Over the top to Abbott. Cross court to Utter. Utter drives, floater on the way, two are off the glass, a putback by Onifield, no good. Rebound, fall for Utter, has it, the putback, no good. Gets his own rebound, putback on the way, and good this time. Four offensive rebounds on that trip for the Zebras. Calvin Larkin, going to be called for travel. Kind of got his foot hung up on, in Rochester shorts, I believe, and he <laughs> fell down. Full court press by the Warriors. Zebras by seven at 24 17. They're going to fall back. Nope, they are, yeah. Pick them up at half court. Yep. Reinhold runs a point, walks it through the center circle. Now at the volleyball line, high on the left side of Perez. Brady Perez been quiet tonight, just two points in that first half to Utter. Utter drives it to the left elbow, cut off by the defense. And now we're going to have a reach in by Will Larkin. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 5.02 to play. In the third quarter, Zebras by seven. And Coach Hugler will go back to the uh, we'll go back to his bench and send Despot and Johnson back into the game. Coming out is Smith and Griffith. Larkin picked up his second. And now Coach Hugler and the Warriors will take a timeout. It will be a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. 5.02 to play in the third quarter. Rochester up 24 to 17. It will be Rochester basketball out of bounds baseline left after the Winnemac timeout. Oh, Winnemac has two timeouts left. Rochester has four. Jordan, left baseline. Law pass into Perez. Back to Reinhold. Pass into the lane to Utter. Utter right elbow. Drives the baseline. Cut off by the defense to Reinhold. Jordan between the rings. Backs it out and resets for Rochester. Now to Abbott. Gives to Reinhold. Jordan, left wing behind the arc, and now we're going to have a foul away from the ball. Is that going to be on the Warriors? I believe it I is. I think it is. 
So the foul's on Johnson, his first. Baseline left is Reinhold. Jordan looking to get it in. Gets uh, and his Ooh. pass is almost stolen by Brandt, who sa can't save from going out of bounds. It'll stay with the Zebras. 4.46 to play in the third quarter, 24-17. Rochester on top and with the basketball. Reinhold into Perez in the corner. Hands off to Jordan on the right wing. Jordan top of the key to Abbott. Left side to Utter. Law pass to Onafield. Jordan against the, or make that Alex against the double team. No good. And the rebound to Winnemag. Calvin Larkin with the basketball left side. Hesitates. Goes to the baseline. Cut off by the double team. No look pass to Johnson. Swings right side to Will Larkin. 4.20 to play in the third quarter. Will Larkin then gives to Brandt, who is fouled by Abbott. Abbott. That's his third. And Coach Malco will probably go back to the bench, I'm guessing. So Griffith back into the game for the Warriors, and coming out is Larkin. Yeah, Will Larkin will, will come out. And Isaiah Jackson with foul issues will come out, and Bryce Abbott and will come back in, and Bryce Abbott will come out. Trade three fouls for three fouls with Jackson for Abbott. Mm. 420 to play in the third quarter. W wiping up a bunch of sweat on the floor on that far side. Griffith will look to get it in. Far side right in front of the student section. Gets it in to Will Larkin. Or make that to Calvin. Will's on the bench. Brant to Griffith. Griffith on the wing. Now left wing to Larkin. Calvin with the basketball for the Warriors. 2-3 zone by the Zebras. High on the right side to Griffith. Back to Larkin. Larkin behind the arc on the left wing. Gives to Johnson. Sends right side to Griffith. Baseline to Brant. He'll take the 18-footer. Is no good. And the rebound to Winnemag. Larkin is fouled on the putback, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. On the field, going to pick up his first. Team Too fifth. many offensive boards right now. You're right. You're right. Three fifty-five to play in the third. Rochester by seven. First one is good for Larkin. Will Larkin will come back in after this free throw. Nope, we'll come back in now. And Tyler Johnson will come out. Tyson Johnson, I beg your pardon, will come out. 3.55 to play in the third. Rochester by six. Calvin Larkin with one more. Second one is good again. That's 10 now for Calvin Larkin. Jackson gives off to Reinhold. Jordan runs a point against the man-to-man. -man. Left wing at the, at the three-point line. Out of Jackson, top of the key. Isaiah, one dribble to his left. Bounce pass to Reinhold. Jordan thought about a three, drives it in the paint. Cut off by the defense. Now we're going to have a oh. charge on Reinhold. Huh. Huh. I thought he kind of lost the ball on his hip. Huh. Offensive foul, number 15. That's first on Reinhold. Turnover on the Zebras. 3.37 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by five at 24 to 19. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Warriors of the basketball. Will Larkin high on the right side for the Warriors around the pick. Inside the three-point line. Backs it out now to Griffith. Griffith, his long jumper is good. It's a three. And now the Zebra lead down to two. 3.15 to play. In the third quarter, Rochester up 24-22. Bounce pass to Utter. Austin drives it left to the baseline. Jumper on the way. Too hard. He gets a rebound. Put back on the way. High off the glass is good. That's six for Utter in this quarter alone. He's got all of Zebra's points. And the pass is knocked out of bounds by Reinhold. It'll stay with Winnemac right in front of the scorer's table with 2.55 to play in the third. Calvin Larkin into Griffith. High on the right side to Will Larkin. Rochester in a 2-3 zone in the corner to that spot. Feeds down little Calvin Larkin. Throws up a shot. No good. Ball being tipped around. Reinhold comes out of there with it. Now to Utter. Rochester run. Jackson now on the right wing. Back to Utter. Utter drives the right baseline. Loses the handle. Picks up the ball. Loses it out of bounds again. Saverin going out of bounds. Ball loose. Winnemac has it. 
Now ahead to Calvin Larkin. Calvin Larkin against Reinhold. In the left corner for the Warriors. Gives to Griffith. Griffith crossover dribble. Loses the handle. Now to Brandt. Matches away and he loses the handle. Now Brady Perez has it. Good heavens. <laughs> Rochester by four with 2.15 to play in the third quarter. Jackson to Utter. Back to Jackson. Has his pass stolen away by Brandt. Now Griffith has it. Bryce Abbott will come back in for Rochester. Calvin Johnson, left baseline, no look pass to Brandt. Leaner on the way over, out of field is good. Two point lead now for Rochester. 26-24, Tyler Walker will come back in to the next opportunity for the Zebras. Utter in the paint, jump stop, down low to on field, layup is good. Good look from Utter. Death spot, Calvin Larkin behind the arc. Hands off to Will Larkin. 125 to play in the third quarter, Rochester by four. Will Larkin wide open three to Calvin Larkin, it's no good. And the rebound, good block out for Perez, and he grabs the board. Now to Reinhold. Minute 12 in the third. Reinhold, top of the key, backs out, resets in the center circle for the Rochester Zebras. Now right side. Well, Reinhold's been awful quiet this quarter. He had 13 in the first half. Minute to play. Defensive count starts, and Reinhold gives off to Jackson. 55 seconds to play in the third quarter. Jackson around the defense and is going to be called for a double dribble. He pinned it against his body. Yeah. And Rochester will bring in Abbott, Stasiak, and Walker. It's the 13th turnover for the Zebras. 30, Abbott, 40, Walker, 12, Stasiak. 52 and a half to play in the third. Widomack by four. Warriors of the basketball going to our left. Got too many on the floor. Jackson comes off. So on the floor for the Zebras. Abbott, Walker, Perez, Reinhold, and Stasiak. Both Larkins, Griffith, Smith, and Brandt on the floor for the Warriors. 45 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rochester by four. And now we're going to have a travel against Will Larkin, and we'll go back to the Zebras. Austin Utter will come back into the game for the Zebras. Also, Despot comes back in for the Warriors and Stasiak to sit down for the Zebras. Reinhold has it, 35 seconds. Over the, and his pass almost stolen away, he gets it back, gives to Utter, who just about crossed into Winnemac territory, but now Reinhold to Abbott. His lead on the way, and Bryce oh. Abbott has picked up a foul on the charge. Abbott picks up his fourth. And Winnemac will be in the bonus. Winnemac with the basketball. Rochester by four. 22 seconds of play in the third quarter. Will and Calvin, Calvin. Larkin carry on a conversation coming up the floor. Crosses the timeline in the center circle with 10. Will Larkin has it with nine. Left side of the floor with eight. Now to Griffith with five. Griffith back to Will Larkin with three. Will Larkin will take the shot with two. His three is good at the buzzer. After three, Rochester leads 28-27. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Here we go to the fourth quarter at Rochester High School. It's been a dandy to this point. Rochester gets out by four, Winnemac answers, four or five, Winnemac answers every time. And Rochester will start the fourth quarter of the basketball only up by one thanks to Will Larkin's three at the buzzer. Yeah, that's his third three-pointer of the game. 
Him and his brother have 19 of the 27. Rochester start with the ball against the man-to-man -man defense. Austin Utter high on the right side to Stasiak, now in the corner to Reinholdt. Reinholdt drives, 10 feet away, loses the handle. It's going to stay with Winnemac after they touched it last. Stay with Rochester. I'm sorry, stay with Rochester. Yeah, you're right. And, you're, and I was getting ready to say, but you're right. Jordan has been awfully quiet in the second half here. I mean, he's, he's made several assists to Utter, and Utter had six out of his eight in that third quarter. But point-wise, you're right, not, not hearing from, from uh, Reinhold like we did earlier in the game. Rochester misses the shot. Calvin Larkin, no look pass to Will Larkin for the three, and the lead is short. No. And Walker with the rebound, and now we're going to have a foul on Smith. That'll be his first, team fourth. Knox is leading Tippecanoe Valley boys at halftime, 30-20. to 20. And Wabash is leading Whitco 36-33 to 33 at half. Boys. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. 30 seconds gone in the final quarter. Rochester owns a one-point lead. Stasiak right block. Kicks it out to Reinhold behind the arc, top of the key. Jordan backs it out to the volleyball line now against Griffith. Now to Utter. Utter, left elbow, hands off to Reinhold. He rises up from 15 feet and short. Utter feels put back is good. 30-27. Utter, Utter field being opportunistic in the right place at the right time. Will Larkin high on the right side. Zebras by three with a minute gone in the final quarter. Calvin Larkin to the left elbow in the paint. Steps back behind the three-point line against Brady Perez. Three right in his face is short. And the rebound to Onofield who gives to Reinhold. Jordan brings it up the floor. High on the right side, now in the corner to Utter. Austin with the basketball. Now on the wing, now at the left elbow. Back outside of Brady Perez. Has Rochester attempted a three yet? Reinholt maybe? Reinholt's got one. We might be one That's of it. one. Yeah. Reinholt right elbow, has his pocket pick. Despot has it, now to Griffith. Griffith runs left side for Winnemac, goes all the way to the basket, throws up a shot, it's good! Cuts Rochester's lead to one, and Coach Malco will use a timeout. It's a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Cheap furniture. Nice game system. New job. Steady girlfriend. Wedding. Dog that serves as a practice child. Little kid. Little kids. Oh. Big kids. Big changes. <laughs> So, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or covered too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Six sixteen to play in the ball game. Winnipeg down by one, and after the Rochester timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Beginning Butter of this fourth quarter, Rochester getting basically just getting out hustled. Yeah. On the rebounds and to the basketball on the loose ball. Winnemac is getting their hands on a lot of dribble to basketball. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Picking the pocket of several. Stasiak bounce pass to Reinholt right wing. Law pass to Utter. Austin rises up. Going to be Callum for a oh, charge. Wow. That's three on Utter. Team eight. Smith hits the deck hard, and he gets up holding his lower back. I don't know that even I don't know that Utter even knew he was there. He just turned and went to the basket. He is struggling now. Smith yeah, is. Yeah, he is. He is. He's hurting. Wilson Smith can hardly move. Looks like maybe that back or right hip. He's having a hard. He's laboring getting across the yeah. lane right now. Winnemac with the basketball, down by one. Five forty to play in the game. Griffith against Rochester's man-to-man -man defense to Brandt. High on the left side to Will Larkin. Will Larkin now gives to Griffith right in front of the Winnemac bench Rochester, to our left. Rochester and man-to-man -man putting a lot of pressure on the ball out front. Larkin again. Will with the basketball against Reinhold. Gives to Calvin Larkin who sets up shop in the left wing. Rochester now in a 2-3 zone. Will Larkin drives the basket, throws up a shot, no good, gets a own rebound, he can put a pack and in. And now wow. Winnemac is up for the first time in a long, long time, 31 to 30. Brady Perez, right wing. Brady, couple of dribbles to his left at the free throw line, now at the elbow, now to Reinhold. 
Jordan backs it out to Stasiak high on the left side. Trade to Brady Perez, right elbow. Leaner on the way off the glass is no good. And the rebound fall for Winnemack comes out of there with it. Griffith runs, splits the pass, uh, splits the defense, loses the basketball, does Calvin Larkin, but they're going to say last touch by Reinhold. It'll stay with the Winnemack baseline left. Winnemack giving up a good five, six inches in a lot of these positions on the floor, and they're still coming out with the rebound yep. and fast breaks in the crowd. Brent will get it in near the Rochester three-point line. And Will Larkin will cross the timeline now for the Warriors. Warriors up by one at 31-30. Four and a half to play in the basketball game. High on the right side is Griffith. Rochester in the man-to-man defense. Will Larkin on the right wing, about 10 feet behind the three-point line. Drives left, goes back right. Step back on the baseline. Good defense by Onafield. Gives to Brandt. Brandt at the free throw line. Kicks it out to Griffith. Calvin Larkin behind his back dribble on the right wing. Step back three over. Perez is good. 34-30, Winnemack by four. Four minutes to play in the game. The second three by Calvin Larkin. And then uh, Rochester will take a timeout. It's a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Four minutes to play in the basketball game. Winnemack now up 34-30. to And I've got a feeling, I think it's a good timeout because I, I think the kids were... It looked like to me, I could be all wet. Uh-huh. They were getting ready to panic here and try to put up a three to get this a little closer, but we've got all sorts of time left. Right. Yeah, I would agree with you. Uh, we haven't been very sharp here in this fourth quarter, either offensively or defensively. Bryce Abbott back into the game for Rochester. Hunter has the inbounds pass against Calvin Larkin. Behind his back dribble goes to the right side. Larkin in, then is going oh, yeah. to foul Utter. That'll be his second, team fifth. I'm thinking everybody in this joint, except thought, for the guy wearing the uh, stripes, yeah, thought, thought that was a clean pick. Or, or tie-up. Tie tie yeah. yeah. Rochester, halfway through this fourth quarter, they've got one field goal from Onnefeld on a putback. Abbott gets the inbounds pass. Utter has it now, takes it to the left side of the lane. At the elbow now, over the top to the right corner to Perez. Brady, down low to Abbott. Abbott on the, in the, blo- on the block. Fakes, jumper, is good, and the foul! Good move by Abbott. He knew he had Larkin on his back. He gave him a fake, got him off the ground, and then got up and got the layup. So Bryce Abbott at the line to try to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way and cut the Winnemack lead to one. 3.43 to play in the game. Abbott at the line for one freebie for the Zebras. The sophomore eyes the freebie, lets her fly, and it's good. 34-33, 34-33, Winnemack by one with 3.40 to play in the game. Rochester going to pick him up in a 2-2-1 half-court trap. Calvin Larkin against the trap. Gets it to Smith. Will Larkin, three, left wing, good! That's the fourth three-pointer for Will Larkin. Four-point lead now for the Warriors. Perez, right corner, down low to Abbott. And the pass is stolen by Brandt. Brandt, left side of the floor, goes up for the shot. It is good off the fingertips. And it's a six-point lead for Winnemack with three minutes of play in the game. Reinhold high on the left side against the man-to-man defense. He works against Griffith. He directs traffic. Now in the corner to Utter. His long two-point shot at the baseline, no good. On a field of the rebound. And has a pocket picked. Ball loose on the floor. Winnemack comes up with it. Griffith runs. Picks his way through traffic. Goes to the basket. Blocked by Reinhold. Ball loose. Picked up by Winnemack and Calvin Larkin. Calvin in the paint. Rises up over the defense. Shot short. Jordan Reinhold with the rebound. 2.38 to play in the game. Winnemack by six. Reinhold then has a pa- has oh. pocket pick by Calvin Larkin, but a foul coming against Larkin and Reinhold. That'll be four on Calvin. We'll go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Two and a half minutes to play in the game. Winnemack leads 39-33. Jordan Reinhold at the line for one and the bonus for the Zebras. Reinhold with 13 points in the game. He's two for two from the line. All 13 came in the first half. Yeah, he had nine in the second quarter. Free throw is good. Those are his first bucket, first point of the second half. One more coming for the senior to cut this Winnemack lead to four. Jordan sets himself for the second one. Let's it fly. Good again. Full court press by the Zebras. 
Winamac breaks that easily. Calvin Larkin, left wing, loses the handle, and now There's we're going to have a foul, foul on yep, Abbott. Abbott. He's just standing there. Abbott was just standing there, and the Warriors were bailed out by the call, and Bryce that's, Abbott has just fouled that's out. five on Abbott. Trey Stasiak will come back into the game with 2.28 to play in the game. Winnemac by four. And Abbott will sit down with five fouls. His number's Brad. Uh, he was a perfect three from three from the free throw line. Finished with five points. Despot comes back in for Winnemac and he'll replace Smith. 2.28 to play in the game. Winnemac leads 39-35. Calvin Larkin at the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Warriors. Larkin with Calvin with 13 points in the game. Free throws no good, and the rebound to Onafield. He gives it right Reinhold. Ahead to Brady Perez. Brady loses the handle. Ball loose. Jordan Reinhold picks it up. Jordan, no look pass. Onafield. He has his pass tipped out of bounds by Brant. It'll stay with Rochester on the far side. Brant thought for sure Onafield hit it last, and he let the ball go, only for the official to say no. He, you hit it last. Johnson back into the game. Will Larkin comes out. Looks like he's a baby in that right leg a little bit. Yep. Cramping up maybe a little. I don't know. Charlie Ors. Abbott uh, make that uh, Utter with the basketball. High on the left side against Larkin. Bounce pass into Reinhold. Out to Utter. Jumper from the free throw line. It's good. And Utter with his 10th point. And now the Winnemac lead is two with two to play. Calvin Larkin, the only Larkin on the field, or on the field, on the court right now, has the <laughs> basketball. Works to the left wing, high against Brady Perez. A minute 50 to play, and now Coach Hugler will take another timeout. It'll be a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. First apartment. Dog named Bella. Boyfriend, TJ. With the sweet ride. And the bad secrets. Exit, TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. A minute 50 to play in the basketball game. Winnemac up 39-37. And after their timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our left. Winnemac has one timeout and the possession arrow. Rochester with two timeouts. Griffith looks to get it in, does so to Brandt. Brandt around the defense, oh. and Winnemac stays from going out of bounds. Loose ball, picked up by Stasiak, who gives it right hole. 100 seconds to play in regulation. Rochester down by two. Utter right. travels. Yeah, I did. Another stutter step when he caught the ball. That's twice tonight that he's done that. Will Larkin back into the game for the Warriors, and Johnson to sit. A minute 38 to play in the game. Winnemac by two, and they've got the basketball going to our left. Southwood boys are tied with Huntington North at 34 at the end of three. They're going to be stupid good again this yeah, year. Yeah, they are. Sounds like McConaughey is going to be pretty good too. Rochester in a 2-2, one half court trap. Winnemac yet to cross the timeline. Finally does to Smith. Smith around the, over the top of the defense to Will Larkin. Will Larkin around the defense. Passes to Calvin Larkin with a minute 20. Calvin back to Will Larkin with 115. High on the right side to Smith. Down low to wide open Smith. He rises up, shot no good. And he loses the basketball out of bounds. Actually almost. Griffith got it to Smith and he couldn't convert from two foot. Almost got his own rebound. A minute eight to play in the game. Rochester down by two. Reinhold walks it up the floor. He'll cross the timeline the minute exactly to play in the game. Jordan, high on the left side to Stasiak with 57 now to Utter with 55. And now Coach Malco will use a timeout. It'll be a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. 
First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. Both teams have one timeout left. The Warriors with the possession arrow. Rochester's Bryce Abbott has fouled out. That happened earlier this quarter. And Winamax, Will Larkin, I believe, has four. Yes? Uh, yes. Well, Will Larkin with two. Calvin with four. Oh, okay. So on the floor for the Zebras, Utter, Jackson, Reinhold, Stasiak, and Perez. On the floor for the Warriors, Brant, both Larkins, Griffith, and Despot. Jordan Reinhold to Brady Perez. Back to Reinhold with 45. Jordan holds high on the left side with 43. Drives it right with 40. At the right elbow. Leaner off the glass. He's going to tied at 39. 35 seconds. Winnemack runs. Calvin Larkin with 32. Crosses the timeline with 30. Now near the scorer's table with 26. Larkin twins have combined for six three-pointers in this basketball game. Griffin is the only other one to have hit a three. Down to 18 seconds. We're tied at 39. Winnemack holding for the final shot. We're down to 13. Calvin Larkin dribbles with 10. Works to his right. Now Coach Hugler will use his final timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Winnemack out of timeouts. They do have a possession arrow. Rochester has one timeout. It'll be out of bounds to Winnemack right in front of the scorer's table, and they'll look for the final shot of the game. Yeah, and I would think that uh, either one of the Larkin twins or Griffith, but you've got to be aware of where Austin Brandt is at. He's only got six points, but all six of those have become because if one of the Larkin boys have found him wide open on the post down low. Well, you're right. If we so, show too much attention to the Larkins, yeah. somebody's going to be wide open. Well, if you, if you play off of them, they'll shoot over the top. If you play too tight, they'll find somebody open for the easy right. bucket. Ten seconds to play in the game. We're tied at 39 here at Rochester High School. Griffith will look to trigger it in right in front of his bench, going to our left. Rochester with four defenders above the free throw line. Ten seconds. Gets it into Larkin. Calvin to Will Larkin with seven. Against a double team. Wide open Brant. Brant kicks it out to Griffith. Three with three is no good. The putback no good. Smith at the buzzer. It's oh, no good. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to overtime. Overtime wow. we go. We're tied at 39. You're listening to Zebra Basketball. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. Basketball here at Rochester High School. We're going to overtime. Four minutes on the clock. We're tied at 39. Utter, Stasiak, on a field, Perez and Reinhold on the floor for Rochester. Both Will and Calvin Larkin. Brant, I believe that's, yeah, Smith and Griffith on the floor for the Warriors. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman, and we'll re-jump as Brady Perez and Griffith will jump. Winamac had three great looks at the end of that game. Oh. Both Brant and uh, Smith with point blank shots just couldn't get it to drop. Rochester wins the tip. Yeah, Smith had a great opportunity yeah. to win that in over or in yeah. regulation. And then the pass is stolen by Will Lark or make that Calvin Larkin. His layup is good. Winnemac up now 41 39 after another zebra turnover. Yep, 15 now for Calvin. Hutter, high on the left side to Reinhold. Jordan drives it left to the baseline, cut off by the double team. Gives to Utter. Austin from 15 feet, shot short, and a foul coming on on, on a field. field. And that's going to send Winnemac to the line for one in the bonus. On a field, uh, uh, second. I'm sorry, he's going to send him to the line for two. And going to shoot free throws will be Brandt. Austin Brandt, a 6'1 junior at the line for two for the Warriors, looking to push this lead to four. He's got six points. This is his first trip to the free throw line. Brandt with two. First one is in and out, no good. The Warriors six of eleven after that miss from the line. How many timeouts do or how many uh, uh, turnovers do we have? Uh, Eighteen. Second for Brandt is good this time. Winnemac by three at 42-39. 3:30 to play in the first overtime period. 
Winnemac has a timeout. Now Rochester with two timeouts. Brady Perez high on the left side, hands off to Reinhold. Jordan with the basketball against the double screen. Inside the arc, rises up above the free throw line and puts it down for two. That's 19 for Reinhold. 42-41. Winnemac by one, they've got the basketball. Three to play in overtime. Will Larkin, high on the left side, back to Calvin Larkin, high on the right side. Back to Will Larkin. Left side to Griffith. All behind the arc, Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Will Larkin behind the arc. Left side to Griffith. Right side high on the right side to Will Larkin. Now in the corner to Calvin. Left wing pass to Griffith. Back to Will Larkin between the rings of the volleyball line. Sends back to Griffith, left wing. Woo. Gives him the middle to Brant. Oh. And then Brant throws it out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back down by one. 2.27 to play in the overtime. Unforced error there for Winnemac. Ryan Holt will bring it up across the free throw, across the 10-second uh, line. Winnemac in the man-to-man defense. 2.15 to play in overtime. Winnemac up. 42-41, and now we're going to have a legal Illegal. screen on Anna Field. Yep, that'll be his third. Fortunately, no free throws will be shot after that. So Winnemac gets it back up by one with 2.13 to play in overtime. Calvin Larkin across the timeline left and drifts towards the Winnemac bench. Crossover dribble, right hand now at the free throw line, up over Perez, no good. On a field, another rebound. Now we're going to have a foul coming against Smith, I believe. And on a field, will walk to the other end and shoot one of the bonus. Smith will pick up his second. As it looks, Smith had position, but he kind of snuck in after on a field was already in the air to grab the rebound. Yeah, yeah. Despot will come in. On a field with five points in the game. He's one of two from the line. Minute 59 to play in overtime. Winnemac up 42-41. Alex on a field for the Zebras of the line for one and the bonus. On a field ready. Fires the first one. No good in and out. And the rebound to Perez who knocks it out of bounds. It'll go back to Winnemac. 42-41. Winnemac. They've got the basketball with 157 to play in the overtime. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. We've seen a dandy. It's been a good one. Rochester. Winnemac, Winnemac boys are ranked 10th this week in the Class 2A poll. I'd say they've, uh, that's. I can see why. I like yeah, I like that ranking. No, no seniors on this team, but I tell you what, they got some shooters. Will Larkin backs it out to the center circle, and the pass is knocked away. Ball loose and picked up by the Warriors. Should be an over and back call, no call. Will Larkin now gets a double team and timeout by Coach Hugler. A minute 28 to play in overtime. Winnemac by one. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. The Warriors will send out both Calvin and Will Johnson, um, Larkin, I'm sorry, uh, Brant, Smith, and Griffith. And again, Calvin Larkin for Winnemac with four fouls. He's really the only one that uh, is in danger. Brant gets it in to Calvin Larkin. And that 2-3, two, that 2-2-1. Two, two, Here comes a 2-2-1 two, two, half-court trap. Yeah, try and get him at the free throw line, or at the half-court line. No look pass to Brant. Out to Griffith behind the arc. Now to Calvin Larkin with 115. Back to Griffith. Thought about a three, passed it up. Will Larkin high on the left side against Reinhold. Works to the right side to Will Larkin. 
Drives around the defense to death spot in the corner with a minute five to play in the game in the overtime. Brandt with the basketball, then it's fouled by Stasiak, and that's going to send Brandt to the line for two shots with a minute to play in overtime. Alex Onofield will come back in after the first free. Stasiak picks up his second. A minute exactly to play in overtime. Brandt at the line for the Warriors for two shots. They're leading 42-41. Brandt one of two from the line. Austin Brandt, good. On a field in, Jackson out. Rochester has two timeouts. The Warriors with zero. Winnemac has the possession arrow. Brandt with one more, looking to push this Winnemac lead back to three. Second one short, and the rebound to Perez. Rochester down by two. Perez outside left. We'll go all the way to the basket. Raises it up, puts it in for two. Perez with just his second basket of the ball game, and it's a big one. We're tied at 43 with 48 to play. Rochester going to pressure him at half court. Calvin Larkin around the defense. Goes all the way to the basket. Blocked by the field. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Winnemac with 39 seconds of play in the overtime. Tied at 43. Rochester will use a timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. First apartment, dog named Bella, boyfriend, TJ, with the sweet ride and the bad secrets. Exit TJ. Hey, it's Eric. Wedding, Eric Jr., new house. Luckily, once a year, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance checks to see if we're paying too much or cover too little. Find an agent and stop knocking on wood. Back at Rochester High School, we are in overtime. 39.2 to play in overtime. We're tied again, now at 43. Rochester has one timeout. Winnemac the was zero. They'll have the ball, have to go the full length of the floor. <laughs> Purdue up by three with 20 seconds to play. Who cares at this point? No, I think no, it'll I'm be sorry, it's Winnemac yeah. ball. Out of field blocked that out of bounds, yeah. didn't Winnemac it? Winnemac yeah. basketball, baseline left. My bad. Brant will look to get it in. 39.2 to play in overtime. We're tied at 43. Brant ready to trigger it in. Brant ready. Still looking. Still looking. Still looking. Over the top. And the ball's loose. Ball's loose. Winnemac picks it up with 35. Calvin Larkin now has it with 32. Good defense by Trey Stasiak. Just about got the loose ball. Here comes the trap. No look pass to Brandt with 27. And then we're going to have a foul coming against Perez. Perez and that's going to send Calvin Larkin to the line for two with 25.8 to play in overtime. So Perez picks up his second. 28.5 to play in overtime. 43, 43. Calvin Larkin at the line for two for the Warriors. He's five of seven from the line today. First one, yep. 16 points now. One more coming for the junior. Looking to push this Winnemac lead to two. Second one, yep. 45-43, Rochester runs. 22 seconds to play in overtime. Utter has it with 21. And now Rochester will use their final timeout. We'll take a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. Had their opportunities, and both teams have come up with uh, shots when they needed them. So the Zebra will have it out of bounds right in front of the Rochester bench. And Austin Utter will get it in. Stasiak, Reinhold on a field, Brady Perez, and Utter on the floor. Larkins, Brandt. Griffith and Despot on the floor for Winnemac. Utter gets it into Stasiak. Back to Utter with 17. Austin holds with 15. Bounce pass to Ryan Holt with 13. Brant Garden, Ryan Holt in his jersey. Bounce pass to Perez to Utter with nine. Utter in the paint. Kicks it out to Ryan Holt with five. Ryan Holt with four. Ryan Holt step back three. Top of the key is short. short. Rebound to Winnemac with zero, and that's going to do it. Winnemac holds on to beat Rochester in overtime. 45-43 postgame show coming up next. 
92.1 WROI and RTC TV4.